if you're making toys or if you have some gears you want to draw attention to, Christmas ornaments, you might try this water-based dye. This is Brie Wax. Comes in a number of colors. Uh, this particular one is yellow. I'm going to do the first gear. is going to be yellow. Then I'll have red, green, and blue. I used the yellow dye when I did the mice and cheese. I used it for the cheese. These are a little bit easy to knock over. Make one hell of a mess if you do. Take a roll of tape or something, set it in there, and it's not as easy to knock over. I'm using an acid brush. Gloves are advised. I'll lay it on there pretty heavy. You'll probably want to give it a couple of coats. And let that dry. Wash out the brush. Gloves, an old shirt. Pretty well advised for doing this, especially if you're a bit sloppy like I am sometimes. This is splattering all over. Finishing up the green one. This dye is staining these gloves, so you can imagine what it do to your hands. Gloves are advised. Wood is not a homogeneous material. It's not going to take the dye evenly. So you may have to go back and give it a second coat on some colors, possibly a third. Try to even that out. When you cut some of these gears out on the scroll saw and then when you round over the edges on the router table, you will on occasion lose some of this surface veneer. Uh, that surface veneer is very brittle. And if you get the little piece, if you happen to find it, you can glue it back in. But usually they're gone and I have a video showing how to repair wood gears with epoxy. That, uh, that epoxy is not going to take the dye, but usually on the other side it still looks pretty good. And I used blue on this one. This dye works well on Baltic birch. You just have to try a piece of wood and see how you like it. These are pretty bright. On some of the harder woods where there's more of a difference between the hard and soft grain, it's not going to be as even coloring. If you were real patient, you can take a magic marker of this color, go in there and dab each one. If you only had a few gears to do, that would be cheaper than buying this dye. This dye can be a little bit expensive. After the dye dried, I applied linseed oil on this, and it darkened all the colors. These are some sample pieces that I had tried earlier, so it does make it quite a bit darker. The color combinations look pretty nice. The green and the blue are bleeding over to the yellow a little bit so that linseed oil is not completely dry. And these run well. If you want to see how well they really run, put a little compressed air on them. <laughs>